right guys, back. in this video, I'm talking about five famous women with autism. All that's coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan, I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia, and I make weekly videos on this type of content. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit that subscribe button by clicking that notification bell down below. And if you're watching over on Facebook, be sure to give us a page a like and a follow to see more videos just like this one. Okay guys, so I decided to, what the heck was that? <laughs> Okay guys, so I decided to compile a list of five of the most interesting autistic women who are famous in a field, but also on the autism spectrum. And some of these people you probably didn't even know were on the spectrum. Okay guys, if you're new to me and everything, I also have social media handles on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. So if you wanna go and follow me on all of those channels, please do so now because I upload content on all of those platforms. Okay, so this is kind of a fun one for me. I decided that like I've done videos on people who are famous, who are autistic, and I've done videos on you know famous scientists and stuff like that who are on the autism spectrum and actors. And what I wanted to do is actually do on just on females on the autism spectrum. Because to me, one of the most interesting things is that autism is very much a, um, you know, it, it, it affects everybody and anyone. But for the current diagnostic criteria, it shows that autism is three times likely in males and it is females, which is just because of the diagnostic process is set up for males rather than females, but that's slowly becoming a thing of the past, but at the moment that's still kind of the current consensus. So having a list of famous people with an autism spectrum disorder is kind of like a rarity really when you think about it, but when you think about famous people who are female with autism, I think that's like super rare. So I wanted to do this video dedicated to all those awesome, inspirational, hardworking, epic women who are on the autism spectrum and they're famous and I thought you guys could find some inspiration and a bit of a yeah awesome moment. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first one was kind of like an obvious one is Dr. Temple Grandin. Now, um, Temple Grandin is a very famous uh, doctor of animal behavioral biology, or she's an animal scientist. She does stuff with like livestock behavior before slaughter or something to do with animals and slaughter. But regardless of her work with her science um, industry, she actually is very famous for being a public advocate and spokesperson on autism. She's written um, a few books, she's done some TV shows, and there's a documentary or a film made about her as well. So she's really, really famous and they study Temple Grandin kind of like as a standard model of talking about autism from an autistic person's point of view when doing degrees or studying anything. So she's very much an influential person in the autism community just because of how you know, accessible she is and the actual content she's put out to date. Now, Temple Grandin has a diagnosis of autism, which I think is just amazing. And she's such a leading prominent figure in the autistic community. And so I'm really, really happy to um, to, to mention it in this video. I've never had the, the pleasure of interviewing or meeting Dr. Grandin yet, but I think I will at one point. I'm gonna try and invite her over to do a video or even just be on my podcast with me because that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? So, um, hey, if you think that would be interesting to have me interview Dr. Grandin, then leave me a comment in the comment section down below right now saying, Dan, you have to interview Dr. Grandin. So that would be really, really cool. Also guys, if you're enjoying this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up means you like this video and if you like this video, it means that I can make more of them and that's it. It's cool. Okay, so number two, famous woman with autism. This is Anne Hegarty. Now, Anne Hegarty is a very famous British TV personality. She's um, also been on things like I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here because her celebrity status. She started off doing game show quizzes, I think, on British television. And then she became like the main quiz master on this TV show called The Chase, where like, you know, audience participation members from the public have to go and test their intelligence and intellect out against somebody who's like a super brainiac. Now she is the brainiac that sits in the chair and she pretty much almost always wins um, and I think it's down to the fact that because she has a diagnosis of autism she's able to you know her thing is to retain information of facts on, on all kinds of stuff so yeah she's just super inspirational and I think Anne um, really sets the the you know the bar for like oh wow I didn't realize that person was autistic because she's got really good skills when she's on TV because she's putting on like this act or what they call masking in, in typical terms I really think Anne is um, inspirational because she's showing that she can have a very interesting, prominent career, even in television, being in the public eye on the autism spectrum, and she's killing it, and she's female. So yeah, Anne, I, uh, I, I tip my hat to you for being super awesome, and I'd love to interview Anne as well like, at some point. I know a friend of mine interviewed her on his podcast, maybe I should reach out and interview her as well. I mean, these are just pretty awesome people I'd I definitely like to have, uh, you know, interviews with at some point, maybe even a blog or, or, or a podcast post. But yeah, 
super interesting, and Hegarty. Now the next one I'm going to talk about, number three, is an awesome singer called Susan Boyle. Now Susan Boyle again is a British Scottish singer and celebrity. Now Susan Boyle was made famous and discovered on the TV show Britain's Got Talent. Now she was quite interesting because her appearance and the way her personality traits were didn't really match up to the expectations of such a fantastic voice coming out of this woman. So everyone kind of looked at her to be say like okay there's this woman who looks you know she's she's very dated in her dress sense she's very kind of like reserved I don't think she's gonna be that good of a singer just off the bat because the, let's face it that's how the judges look at people right and then she gets on stage and belts out this awesome voice and uh, with the song I think I dream a dream uh, from like a, a, a musical anyway since then she became like world famous for being this like kick butt awesome singer and uh, yeah just she's just amazing she uh, then later came out and said that she had a, a diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome and she still lives with her mother in a um, like a state housing property in the UK regardless of her income of being like in excess of like 50 million pounds but again Susan is inspirational because I feel like there are people who relate to Susan in a way where um, you know they, they might feel kind of a bit different to the the, the typical person uh, they may not dress how people want them to dress, but they still have the ability and the skills to give to something so amazing. I mean, look at the career that Susan has done. I mean, that's inspirational and should be very much inspirational for people, especially young women um, on the autism spectrum who want to do things like performing arts or TV personalities. It's super dope, super awesome. Okay, so number four, super awesome. This one is uh, Daryl Hannah. Now, Daryl Hannah is an American actress. She is really well known for being in the movie franchise for Kill Bill. Now, I haven't seen those movies. I don't know, it's kind of like sacrilegious because everyone's like, you've never seen Kill Bill? And I even did a movie and TV course when I was in college. Um, I was doing media moving image and one of the things we had to do was study different movies and Kill Bill was one of them. But because of my inability to liken or have affinity to certain phrases or words because of my autism spectrum disorder, the movie title Kill Bill isn't appealing to me because it's kind of like, it reminds me of put your hands in the air like you just don't care. I feel like there's no real thought into the title. So the title alone put me off the movie movie, regardless of my inability to watch the film, I know that Daryl Hannah is kind of like one of the main people in it and um, she actually has a diagnosis of autism and is just absolutely like kick butt. She's out there, she's killing it, she's like this stunning actress woman like super high up in Hollywood, killing it with all these movies. And I think that's awesome. You know, it just shows that like, no matter where you are on the spectrum, it doesn't matter your uh, inability to do something, your ability to do great things is what really counts. And these women so far are just absolutely like thrashing it. They're killing it. And they're showing that it's possible. They're showing that you don't have to uh, worry about like, oh, you know, I can't talk to those friends or I don't fit in in that group. Well, don't worry about those groups, man. Do you and you make your own group and then you make that group successful. I love it. God, you guys are awesome. If you agree with what I'm saying, please give the video a thumbs up. Man, I love you guys. Okay, so number five is a very dear friend of mine. This woman is super inspirational. This is Shal Davis from MTV's Just to Two of Us. Now, Shal Davis is a TV personality, an MTV show star. I guess she's got like five seasons out of the show Just to Two of Us. She's the only remaining uh, original cast member and uh, she's killing it, dude. You know, you think about like, you know, MTV personalities, this girl is killing it. Not only is she an MTV personality, but she's a tattoo artist on the show. So she's got the artistic skill that comes from her ability to create amazing images and then also is a TV personality presenter because she's landed this show you know on MTV and it's super awesome not only that she also has her own private tattoo studio which is super awesome and I actually have some tattoo uh, work done from Shal which is on my arm here um, and I will show you that when it's all finished but I'll show you a sneak peek now but in terms of um, Shal's uh, autism Shal actually got the autism diagnosis while she was filming for MTV because MTV uh, have different types of people on the show like different uh, you know you have therapists and, and people making sure that everything's running smoothly and the, the health and the mental health of all the staff and the crew are all doing well and so then they took her through a diagnostic process and one of the top guys in the UK diagnosed her with what would have been known as Asperger's syndrome but in 2013 they took that out of the diagnostic criteria and now it's just the autism spectrum disorder so Shal Davis has a diagnosis of the autism spectrum disorder and is super super awesome
awesome. She also has her own YouTube channel, which I will leave in a link below this video. And I have done tons of video with Shal Davis. So if you want to check out the top three videos I've done with Shal, you can check them out in the card above. I'll leave them on the end screen and I'll put them in a, uh, a pinned comment on this video. That's super awesome. So. If that doesn't inspire you, uh, I don't know what will. These women are absolutely killing it. I love each and every one of their stories and I think that they're absolutely fantastic. If you have any to add to this, put it in a comment down below. I'd love to see more inspirational women like this on the spectrum. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.